All right, I'm gonna start the video by prefacing just a few short things. Um, the job is done. I learned a lot on what not to do because there weren't any YouTube videos on how to do this, how to get to the VST on this. It's back there. You gotta take off the black intake manifold to start. There's gonna be some bolts that are impossible to get to. It's gonna be this one and this one. You're gonna have to take off the lower cowling. Does not actually end up being as bad as you think it might be. Taking off this cowling, it's just like six bolts all around there and in here. Um, that comes off real easy. After that, you're gonna wanna take off one, two, three, four, five. That'll remove the uh, metal intake manifold as well as these eight bolts here. Um, this one kind of gets stuck in here. You can put it back in once this is mounted. You gotta finagle it. I don't even know if you need to take these off. At least take these four off. Um, once that's off, you can get to the VST. So I had a bunch of clips of me taking off the fuel rail and stuff. I'm just gonna delete those because you don't need to. You can actually have the manifold sit here on like the cowling as long as it's supported because um, you don't want it to fall and rip all the wires off. But yeah, I realize that it's really not that complicated. You just gotta not do what I did at first, which is dismantling all this injector shit. And it's really only a few bolts that holds it on. Um, so yeah, now I guess I'll go into the, the past, show you what else I did here for this job. I got the filter. It was fairly gunked up. 